Many of students graduate high school with plans to enroll in college in the fall. But every year, some of those graduates don't enroll as planned, a phenomenon known as summer melt. In 2017, 83% of North Carolina's public high school graduates reported plans to go to college. 43% immediately enrolled at either a North Carolina community college or UNC system school. 11% enrolled in a private institution or out-of-state school. This means that 29% of graduates with post-secondary intentions did not immediately enroll at any institution. This is the largest leak in the education pipeline, and its size is growing. In 2008, the immediate college-going rate at our state's public colleges and universities was 50.7%. But this decline is not unique to North Carolina. Nationally, the immediate college-going rate dropped from 66% in 2008 to 62% in 2014. Policymakers point to changes in the economy. It's well documented that in times of economic hardship, such as the recent Great Recession, more students enroll in post-secondary education. Another factor is rising high school graduation rates. The number of graduates from North Carolina public schools increased by 19%. This has translated into a higher number of students immediately enrolling in college, despite the fact that a smaller percentage of the overall group are doing so. Disparities exist among demographic groups in this data. There was a 5.3 percentage point gap between the share of black students and white students that graduate from high school. When looking at students who immediately enrolled in college, the gap jumps to 7.7 .7 percentage points. The gap between male students and female students is even greater, 6.2 percentage points for high school graduation and 10.4 percentage points for immediate college going. Successfully increasing on-time enrollment among these demographic groups will be a critical step in improving the overall immediate college going rate. I'm Rebecca Tippett, Director of Carolina Demography.